are happy to welcome Anders Prinz, photography manager at IKEA. Anders is a talented creative guru. He will tell us how IKEA is leading the way using photography, but he will also share inspirations, strategies to succeed in the future of photography. Anders Prinz, the floor is yours. Um, happy to be here, happy to be invited by Adobe. Um, before I start talking about virtual photography, I want to talk a little bit about uh, where I come from. <clears throat> because when you mentioned IKEA, um, uh, it's hard to, to look on IKEA from the outside. And when you work at IKEA for a long time, it's, uh, we are small organizations within a great organizations. You see a lot of techniques, and we all seen like uh, Avatar movies and uh, uh, films that you use uh, a lot of visual effects. And this technique that you see is uh, not available for everybody. So um, we always looked into that from an IKEA perspective and see if we can uh, use it. Um, and we did our own tests on this. Uh, how to track a camera and so on. So instead of going full-on Mandalorian uh, Star Wars, we actually uh, started to just experiment if we can track a camera to give to the 3D artist. Um, and for your information, 50% approximately, uh, most of our brochures are in fully 3D. And people don't really see the difference between uh, the photo and the 3D uh, image today. They did a while back, but not anymore. Uh, but when we do photography, we know it's the still, still the same thing, that we have to replace the glass, we have to replace the, uh, some things in there to make it market relevant. Uh, so that's the first thing we took from virtual photography, is just having the uh, camera position. And we're very keen on doing this uh, using open source tools and also uh, not like uh, building it into a... We didn't use a, a finished tool for this. It's uh, something that we built on our own. And that's, yeah, as I said, only for uh, using uh, one specific thing, tracking the camera and the object. But very recently, <coughs> both Unreal 5 was released. Maybe you heard about it. And also ILM that made Star Wars. Uh, made a lot of tools uh, available for everyone, and also for free. Uh, and that made a huge leap for almost anyone and any company uh, to not be like, you don't have to be a genius or uh, just working with this the, your whole life or uh, having a huge green screen studio. There's actually uh, today uh, a kit you can buy uh, from Vive, uh, and there's other companies too that have this, OptiTrack is one. Uh, that is a full kit that you connect to your camera, you screw on your tracker, and suddenly you can do uh, virtual production. You can track the camera, you have the other trackers that you can put on objects, and you can get where they are. And this is like something that you really easy to do. You follow a YouTube tutorial and you have your uh, virtual production studio. Um, here we see a little bit from, from that on, and also on how to set it up. Uh, there's also uh, a phone apps today where you can do virtual production in. Uh, and you can actually use a phone app to track your environment, put in 3D objects. You can save it in the phone and you can export it to After Effects, for example, but also Blender and other tools. What I want to say and what I want to give to you is that if you're looking into virtual photography today, where you want to mix 3D objects with real photography, now is the time to start because now it's so accessible. You can do it. If you download an app, it costs around 300 kronos to your phone. You can already start doing virtual production, experiment with this. Uh, and the cool thing is also if what we take away from... from um, or what we add is that uh, the creativity that you have is limitless. Because, I mean, if you can mix 3D objects, you can import a sky from uh, some stock uh, from Adobe, for example, and put in the background, and you can mix uh, your environment with real stuff. You have a whole movie set wherever you want in the world, um, in, in your phone 
or uh, very accessible if you buy it from Vive. So, uh, thank you, everyone. <clears throat>